Hello, 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 everybody. How are you guys doing today? So today I'm going to show you how to use a line, how to connect a line using a parallel line, okay? Now let's go to uh, our method cam 9 and open it up. Okay, let's go to main menu. Okay, now go ahead and click on F9. Okay, let's go to main menu and click on create. Then we're going to click on rectangle and click on one point. Now we're going to use 50 by 50. Okay, then we're going to click on this corner right here. Click OK. Put it right here. Say escape. Hold F1. Okay. Now we're going to go over here to click on create. And then we're going to click on line. And then right here, we're going to click on parallel. Okay. And then on right here, we're going to uh, select on side distance. Okay. Click on that. And then we're going to select a line right here. Go ahead and highlight it and click on it. Okay. And then we're going to put this way to the right. Okay. Now we have to enter a dimension. Okay. Go ahead and put any dimension you want to put. So I'm going to put four inches. Then click enter. They did come over here now. So we're going to come to the bottom right here. Click on it. Then we're going to click over here to the top. Click one right here. As long as you got the same number, go ahead and click enter. If you have a different number, go ahead and change it and click enter. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the top right here. I'm going to click right here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to enter the same number. So I'm going to click enter. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the right right here and click on it and go backward right here and click on enter. Okay. So I got all these lines that are four corner. Okay. So I'm going to go back to main menu. Okay. I'm going to try to trim this out right here. Go ahead and modify and going to click on trim and click on one entity. Okay. Right here. Click it. Okay. You click on this line, you click on this line to so get rid of this right line right here. Okay. Go ahead, click right here, this one right here. So get rid of this line, okay? They call it one entity, okay? Okay, we got this line right here and this box. So let's go back. We're gonna connect this endpoint right here to this endpoint, okay? All four corners. Okay, go ahead and click on create, and click on the line. We're gonna click on multiple or multiple line right here, multi line. Okay, we're gonna click on this one right here, this endpoint, okay? Go ahead and click this endpoint right here, connect to this endpoint right here, okay? And click escape, and then come back to multi-line again, you can click on this endpoint right here, and connect to this one endpoint, okay? And then click escape again. Go back to endpoint, click this line again, this endpoint here, and connect with this endpoint here. Click escape, back to endpoint again, and click on this one right here, this endpoint, and to this endpoint, and click escape. So you got this box right here, okay. Now let's go back to main menu and make this box make it smaller and smaller, okay, to the, the latest small, okay. Go back to create, then we're gonna click on line. Then we're gonna go over here, parallel line again, and side and distance, okay. So I'm gonna click right here, and then I'm gonna go to the right, okay. Now you have the end of the dimension, okay? I'm gonna click five inches on it. I'm gonna click enter. Okay, see how it goes. So I'm gonna click at the bottom to the top. Then I've got five inches right here, I'm gonna click enter. Then I'm gonna click on the top right here, and then click on the bottom, then I'm gonna click enter again. Then from here, from the right to the left, I'm gonna click enter again. That's how it looks right here. Okay, we're gonna do one more here. Okay, we're gonna click right here on the left to the right. I've got enter here, and then at the bottom to the top, enter, and from the top to the bottom, enter again, and then from the right to the left, and enter again. Okay. Now, one more we got to do. Okay. One more time. Right here, from the bottom to the top, from the top to bottom, and from the right to the left. Okay. Now, we're going to go to trim it out. Okay, we're going to click on modify and then we're going to trim on one entity. Okay, we're going to use the same pattern that we use. Okay, go and click one entity. We're going to trim it out. Okay, 
They're gonna click on this first line right here and the second line right here. First line, second line, okay. Do that all the same thing. Okay. Whatever line you need, go ahead and click on that and, and save it, okay. Here. Yeah. Continue all the way through. Okay. Now, if you're stuck, go ahead and just, you know, redo it, okay? And then just go ahead and pause this video and then, and, you know, go back to do it. So, it's so simple and I think that everybody can do that. Okay. Okay, so we have all these box, you know, we make from the big box to the small box, right? So... Now we're gonna go back here. We're gonna make uh, endpoint here. Connect all these endpoint here. Use the uh, multiple line. Okay. Go ahead and click on create, and then we're gonna click on line. And then we're gonna click on multiple line. Okay. Now we're gonna collect all the endpoint. Okay. Click on endpoint from right here to endpoint. Okay. And click escape. We we'll go back to endpoint again. Click from endpoint to endpoint. Okay. And click escape. Go back to endpoint again. Click this endpoint to endpoint. Okay. Let it go back, same pattern. Okay, click escape. Okay, try to connect all these endpoints together. Okay. Okay, you see how the line connected? If you gotta have any problem, you know, just go ahead and redo it, okay? So nobody gonna go anywhere. It's gonna take it a little bit of time, but you know, practicing is always more perfect, okay? Don't worry about you making any mistake, you know? And besides, this is beginner class, so, you know, I'm I'm not showing any, you know, people that know already, already. this is for a beginner. So if you already know about this stuff, you know, you don't have to be here and watching the same old stuff, okay? So go ahead and continue, click on the endpoint and connect to the endpoint, okay? So we have all these endpoints connected, okay? All right. Now let's go to uh, this line right here. Click on that and right click. You want to zoom it out a little bit. So I'm gonna click on dynamic spin right here, okay? See how it look? That's one you want to see, okay? That's how it look, guys. So you want a 3D right here, okay? That's how it look. Okay, now you want to right-click again. You want to see, you know, on the top or the front view. Okay, let's see the top or the front. That's the front right there. Okay. Right-click again. Let's see the top view right here. Okay. Now you want to rotate. You can click on, you know, split to the screen. Again, you, you can unzoom. Then you right click, okay, you want to put it on the screen, it's right here. And then if you want to save it, you know, you can save it also. But you know, this one is how we do it. You know, parallel, line, parallel line connect it all together. And we use an endpoint connect it all together. Okay. And we start from the big box to the small box right here. Okay. So we're gonna right click again, see how it goes. So I'm gonna click on the spin right here drag like that, we'll see how it look. See, so rotate it, okay. See how you rotate, you look at it from the top view, isometric view, 3D view, okay. That's all it is, guys, so I hope you guys like this video and um, if you do like this video, please share and like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, other than that, that's all I have for today, guys. And I hope you like this video. And uh, maybe i see you next time. Hope to see you next time anyway. So have a good day and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.